Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 27 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, where today uh, I did a little bit of work between episodes, and I'm going to show you right now what we knocked out. Uh, first off, I did a whole bunch of mining. What's up, creepers? Yeah, I know. My bad for going outside right after I slept through the night. Booyah. Doing better with this whole combat thing, right? Like, teching up, a little bit of armor, a little bit of weapons, laser don't hurt nothing. Uh, went mining between episodes. So, uh, as you can see, my... Uh, oh, hello. How did you... Wait, what now? Okay, cool. That's just a... My inventory's been desyncing a little bit sometimes, and it's weird. Uh, so, my, my hammer's almost broken. My pick is nice and low. Um, you know, just stuff and things that need to be fixed. So I, I, I focused on getting um, a lot of resources, specifically around coal for the most part, so that I could fill this pool up. So I threw, uh, you know, a bunch of stuff that way. Nice. So that should be repairing all my tools, yeah? Do, 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 do. Filling up. Nice. It's going to be a lot of mana probably, but it's worth it to have those tools all filled up. Uh, the other thing I did, uh, I spent a lot of time crafting. Uh, I crafted two... 16k storage discs two of them um so just as a note 16k storage discs are not that bad to make they're really not um what you need um is is three 4ks as usual a couple calculation processors and improved processors and you need a triberium ingot which we've made already right um and then the 4ks are just 1ks with a dilithium ingot which you know we also know how to make right and the 1ks are just you know some logic processors some silicon and some special infused iron plates so really not that bad to make it's a lot of crafting a little bit like you need a decent amount of super glue for all these steps right but a 16k is basically nine one k's makes three four k's makes uh one 16k right and that's like a significant improvement if you think about how many items you can store right because because three four k's would be 12k but you can store 16k on it because we do this so like you know it's it's almost like an extra one of these which is pretty awesome right now if we wanted to really get a benefit out of this we would do a 64k um, but that requires some Terax ingot and some Superium plates, which technically I could probably get Superium right now, maybe a little bit. And Terax, I have no idea what you are. Um, but if I wanted this 64K, I'd have to make another 16K and then combine them all together to make a 64K. So whoa, we'll see. I don't know exactly what Terax is all about. Uh, it's an alloy of Joxum, Ovium, and Carmesine. Carmesine. I think we actually have those, don't we? We have all those, don't we? Carmesine, Joxum, and Ovium. Yeah, we technically could make that ingot. Um, and then the Superior Plates. So, I'm just saying 64K is maybe possible. And remember, with um, refined storage, you don't have to worry about types. So it's not a bad idea, like getting a 64K storage part. It's usually wasteful to do something like that in Applied Energistics, but not necessarily wasteful uh, here. So... And then we'd need diamond plates, which are just what? Uh, compactors? Yeah, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. Elite control circuit, though. Can we make that? Energized silicon. I don't know about that one. Reinforced alloy we've made. Compressed diamonds we've made. What's energized silicon? Oh, just glowstone. That's nothing. I mean, it's technically doable. India. Iridium plate. Oh, we may not have iridium. We may not have iridium, do we? I don't actually know how to make iridium. Um, there's iridium ore, which we can void mine, or we can UU matter, or we can do some kind of fusion thing to get iridium. Um, so yeah, maybe iridium ain't gonna happen, we'll see. How do we make iridium otherwise? Essence of the gods and thermoconducting alloy. Okay. Good times. Majestic dust is a combination of white and dark. Okay, and thermo is an extreme alloy and boron arsenide. An extreme alloy is hard carbon and tough alloy. So, I mean, technically not super impossible, but probably, yeah, probably uh, just because we won't be able to make that elite control circuit, we probably couldn't do 64K. But 32,000 items is a decent amount of storage to get started with, I would say, right? Um, so I think what I'm going to do is try to dump all my items into here, and hopefully we have enough and we'll have an idea of how much more we have to do, right? Look at all this nonsense. Do, do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. Nice. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'm just going to put all the stuffs in there. So that was 2,000 items. Wow, that was actually quite a lot, wasn't it? A um, little bit. Little bit of items. Hopefully we have enough storage space. If I have to make another 16K, I can do that pretty easily, honestly. Um, they're not that bad to make, like I said. A little bit of time, but that's about it. It just takes some time to make. Right? Just a little bit of time. Oh man, am I excited to have a refined storage system. You guys have no idea. I do want to hang on to my bread, though. You know, if I put these guys down here, then my upper inventory would be free. That is cool beans right now. Nice. All right, how we doing, refined storage? How we doing? Up to 8,000, so we're a quarter full. Wow. Yeah, we actually have a lot of junk, don't we? We do have a lot of junk. So what we might wind up doing is doing like an external storage and a drawer system for the things we have a lot of. And that would probably save us a lot of inventory space inside the refined storage system, right? So refined storage can almost be like a miscellaneous junk section. Um, and I think that might be cool. That, that might be cool. Um, we'll see. I think, I think that's probably a smart move. I just wanna see like how full we get and then we'll go from there. Because we're actually like pretty close to all the stuff that we have is, is ready to go in here, right? I don't think we have too much more scattered around our base. So now we're up to 13,000. So we're about halfway. Cool. Lots of tree taps, because I've been... You need a lot of that uh, rubber, because I said, remember, we need a lot of glue. So, like, I'm not going to throw 2,000 lapis in there. That's just going to really clog things up. But you know what? We're actually not that bad. We are actually not that bad. All right, maybe you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. I don't know. I'm not too worried. Just put all the junk away, all right? Nice. And then once we have all this junk cleaned up, then we can really start looking seriously about expanding the base and doing some proper preparations, right? So there's a few things I would really like to get. I'd like to get our, apply, our refined storage system a little bit more organized, right? Not just three blocks in a corner. Um, make sure we have enough inventory space. So did we even fill up the 16K? We didn't. So that's 14,000 items that we put away. So we've got actually a significant amount of storage remaining. Almost 20k items that we can do on top of this, right? Uh, we do still have this guy, so we should clear this out. One thing I've been doing, by the way, is I've been putting this copper tank in here to, to pick up any essence that we get. Pro tip, you can do that. Uh, I like this thing because it generates the same mob essence you get from doing a mob farm, and that's pretty cool, right? So I just pop this in here and it picks up any essence we get from smelting. Um, and then uh, the, the uh, extraction servo thing pulls it out once it goes through one iteration, right? So I do that. I don't know if that will generate fluid or not. I guess not. But you get the idea, right? I've been processing all the ores that we collected between episodes. Cool. So, hey, we've got a refined storage system. That's pretty awesome. That is super awesome. Um, let me get an axe out of here. Some form of axe. I also went and like made it a point to mine up a ton of cobblestone. So now what I think I'd like to do, um, what I think I would like to do, let's see, I want you in JEI synchronized mode. Shouldn't you be? Oh, that's right, I do it here and it works. Oh, nice, that's cool, see? That's one of the things I like about refined storage over uh, applied energistics is the whole crafting grid thing. Like if you type here, it populates it here, but if you type here, it doesn't try to reverse populate it. Like that's cool. 
So I think a destruction gadget would probably be a nice thing to have. So that we can clear out some basementy type stuff. Does that sound like a good time? Uh, remember, this thing has a lot of power needs. One million RF storage. And uh, I, I had this energy cube was completely empty. Completely empty. Um, from all the uh, smelting and operations we had making those 64k storage dudes. But we're getting there, right? We also have the miscellaneous junk that we haven't uh, actually cleaned up yet. I should probably throw that into the system as well. I forgot about that. So let's do that real quick. You guys can go away. I'll even put this drawer away. And then we can throw all this junk away. Because this is like the top of the list of junk that we would want in here, right? All the junks. Whee! It's so fun. It's so fun having refined storage or some something to store lots and lots of resources in. It's so great. Hey, look, we finally filled it up. 16K. Nice. So one 16K disc, 100% full. Uh, the other one's barely being touched. And we're going to extract a lot of these resources and put them in some form of drawer. Because uh, I'll probably want to do like a drawer controller and the external storage and that standard setup that we do. Some compacting drawers. Drawer controller doesn't look terrible. Um, yeah, really not bad at all to make that. Um, that, that, that will be awesome. Um, the only thing that's rough is the crafter. Um, the crafter is a, is a big advanced crafting step to make. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. Um, we'll have to figure that out. But we'll get there. Cool. At the very least, we have storage, right? And that's cool. And, and reborn storage doesn't look too bad. So we can do like the, the, the crafting table step things pretty easily. Um, though you need a lot of basic processors for those frames. Oh boy, and machine casings, huh? A lot of them. So reborn storage might be pretty expensive in terms of resources. Um, and you guys also need some advanced processors. That's not too bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. So um, here's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, we've got our destruction gadget charging up. I want to clear out a basement, right? Um, and I'd like that basement to basically, uh, and I'd also like an elevator, right? Um, now that's just going to be a bunch of bronze, some wool, a wireless receiver. Oh, nice. Dude, dude. And it's even going to or dictionary all that slate nonsense. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is super awesome. I am gonna I'm gonna enjoy that. Actually I need two of you, don't I? I need two elevators. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna get very nice very soon. Just having this is gonna make my life a million times easier, right? Block of luminescence, I should be able to make two of them. Beautiful. Uh, four ender pearls. Nice. We're actually a little bit low on ender pearls. I should look at getting a few more of those. Uh, we have ender lilies. Right, and we could look at you know setting up some kind of farm to grow them, phytogenic insulator, something like that would be cool. Because uh, I think we can make a phytogenic insulator. Didn't we have a quest for that? We do. We do have a quest to do that. Um, and then just a bunch of bronze, right? Boom, boom. So how many bronze plates do we need for an elevator? That was one, two, three, four, five, ten, fourteen. Fourteen bronze plates. Okay. Um, so let's get some copper and some tin. Now, is it middle click? Okay, yeah. So that's one downside to refined storage. Middle clicking in here does mess with your with your stuff, and that's how you take one item out at a time. Um, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful about middle clicking in here, or we can replace inventory tweaks with. CPW's inventory sorting mod, and that prevents that from happening. As an FYI, because it's 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 a it's an interaction between inventory tweaks, I think, and uh, and and refined storage. So if we put CPW's inventory sorter mod in here instead of inventory tweaks, which I might do, um, that would be uh, that would be one way to solve that problem of middle clicking with a grid open equals your inventory goes all over the place. I'm pretty sure I've done that in the past and it's worked out. Okay. So there's 14 for one. We've got six. So we're going to need uh, 
Yeah. Eight, right? Yeah, eight and six would be another 14. Beautiful. I mathed it out correctly. Good job, me. All right, so that'll get me a couple elevators, right? So we can get down. Um, so let's get down into a basement. We'll, we'll carve out a basement. We might clean up our base a little bit. I would probably want to expand it a little bit today. So a lot of today's episode will be, let's get our house in order, right? It's a let's get our house in order episode with Direwolf 20. So remember, destruction gadget destroys things. Keep that in mind. So how deep do we want to go here? So if that's our ceiling, right? Um, like, do we want to give ourselves a little bit of ceiling space or not really? I don't know that's necessary for the basement, right? So what we'd want to do is down one, right? And we'll do a depth of one for a minute just so we can see what that looks like. So if I anchor you there, we could go up two more. Cool. And you know what else we want to do is we want to turn off connected area. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, that should be good, right? Do we want to do that or we want to go one deeper? <clears throat> um, that doesn't look terrible. That's a reasonable amount of, uh, of basement-y space, right? So let's give you a depth of, let's see. Um, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So you wanna do 17 deep? Yeah, now we can only do 16 deep, right? But we'll do, what we'll do is 15 deep because of this. And that should void me all the way up to here, which should be my, nice. Give you guys a little bit of light so you can see what we're doing here. Hey, look, it's my mage's workshop. Beautiful. That's what I would expect, right? Well, let's get our elevator going too, uh, so we don't have to keep doing this thing. So, are my bronze dudes done? You are. And I think it was in this guy that we made the elevator. Boom. That's what's up. So for now, it'll go in this corner. We may wind up putting it elsewhere. Ah, beautiful. Cool, right? So now we've mapped right up to our mage's workshop, which is where we wanted to go, right? So then it would be the same thing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So basically 16 deep in this direction. So can I bump that up to 16, please? And boom, that should clear all the way up. And there's my blood infuser. Nice, cool. Okay, so now uh, we basically just wanna do this. Would be the easiest way to clear out that whole basement. Booyah, hello basement. Hello, basement. Look at that. And we'll, we'll, we'll obviously want to, you know, make things a little bit better. One more. <sighs> Loving it. See? Destruction gadget for the win. Okay. Now, what I'd also like to make, <clears throat> if I can, would be a feral flare lantern. Because these guys are awesome, right? I just need a few steel plates, a couple mana glass, another block of luminescence, which... I don't remember exactly how this is made. Oh, that ain't bad. I can just get a stack of that, right? No problem. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna need another one of these. I'm gonna need a couple glass. To turn into mana glass, and we're gonna need a couple steel to turn into plates. All right, and the feral flare lantern will basically light up a large area so that we don't have to have torches all over the place. Because basements are notoriously hard to light up. Feral Flare Lantern makes that a little bit easier. Sweet. 
Okay, you're compacting up a storm. One more little compaction, dude. So down in the basement, I want to have power generation and storage, refined storage network, and probably um, you know some of the, the the storage of items, right? So like when I set up a drawer system, it's also going to be down here. Cool. So feral flare lantern, you're the best, by the way. This is a really good mod. Have I mentioned that recently? Um, so like you could just chill like right here in the center-ish of the basement, and that would be cool. And what we'll see is lights start to glow, right? I'm gonna remove you, and I'm gonna remove you. And see how lights are showing up? Yeah, that's what's up. Cool, and that'll just light up the basement for us. Um, now, I also wouldn't mind an exchanger of sorts. Now, I grant that these exchangers exist, but this is Direwolf. I wanna play with my exchanger. Cool, you guys down with me playing with my exchanger? I think that's a plan. Sweet. And we're pretty good on power. So I can use this to like fill up the walls a little bit, right? Uh, we should have a lot of cobble. I'm going to get some kind of uh, smooth stone and we'll probably use chisel um, to make something nice, right? Cool. Feral Flare Lantern is lighting up the basement. Uh, we're going to be ready to make the basement look good with the exchanger um, and, and other components, right? So what I always do is set this guy back down to zero. And by the way, you can like click and drag those two, you know. But setting that down to zero is a pretty good way to, you know, not accidentally void something. Of course, there's always the undo function, right? But you only get one of those. You only get one undo. So keep that in mind. See, look how much we're killing our power right now. Um, this is part of the reason we need to get our house in order, right? We need to make the space a little bit nicer, and we need to have better power gen, which is probably going to be oil generator based. I'll probably want a few more of these oil gens. It's been a while since we've done a fun, let's automate crystallized oil thing. So let's plan for that in this series, right? So we're taking a little break from the whole, like, let's progress through the quest book, because we've finally gotten to a point where I'm really happy with where we're at. Um... So that's cool. Hey, look, we got an uh, intermediate we'll come. That's nice. I didn't even know. Oh, it's so nice being able to just come over here and just throw all our junk. Oh, look, nonsense. I don't have to worry about where it goes. It just goes. It just goes into the system. <laughs> all right. So this guy's smelting up a bunch of uh, smooth stone for us, right? Um, and we'll pretty much let this be cool and do its thing. And this area is lit up. So let's come back in a minute. I'm gonna harvest up these resources and get ready to have our basement look nice. And I definitely wanna harvest our coal with uh, my pick so we apply fortune to it because more coal equals good. I could always use more coal and more copper for that matter. Nice. All right, back in a few. Dudes, it's already getting easier to craft. I am loving it. I am loving it. Uh, so you need some of this. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. It's getting real close to being amazing. Do your thing, kids. Thanks. Super helpful. You keep smelting over there, okay, guys? Um, and then I needed quartz plates. I needed, like, two more of those. Is that right? Yes, I did. So I'm making an external storage uh, that we're going to hook up to a drawer controller. The other thing is I chopped down a bunch of trees. Um, and even more trees. Yeah, that's what's up. Come on, inventory. Let's go. I like this magnet mod. And it's kind of cool. Alright. So my quartz plates should be done by now. Yes, they should. Nice. So does that mean you're pretty good to go? You are. We need some cables, though. And that's going to be special infused red alloy and glass. Do we have any red alloy? We don't. But we can make some relatively easily. Special infused. 
glass. Eh, we could probably use more glass. Let's get some sand going. I've also been using this thing every now and then uh, because, you know, this guy's been tied up doing other things. So, cool. Meanwhile, also, also, uh, I'm melting up some mana steel. Boom. Mana steel, tough tool rod for my iron lumbrax. Because I saw it. I guess when I made it, I didn't know about how awesome mana steel is in this pack. So I decided, hey, let's upgrade the dude. So now he repairs himself, courtesy of my mana. Thanks, Batania. You're the best. Cool. So you're getting me some glass. You're getting me the red alloy that I need. Okay. And then over here, um, if I want to make some cables, which I think is a quest, by the way, I need the big pliers and the gem cutter. The big pliers and not the driver, the gem cutter, the gem cutter. He might have actually made his way into here. He did. I had him in my inventory when I was messing with stuff earlier, remember? Cool. And then along with that, we need silicone. Okay. Um, I actually might have a decent amount of this stuff. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I totally do. Nice. Um, I need more empty cells, to be honest with you. Can I make those easily enough? Uh, I can if I have a hammer. And what I should do is throw all these things in here, but we'll see. Oh, really? That's it? Let's get a few more empty cells. But at least that's a good starting point for silicone. Seen better days. I need to get uh, a better servo out of here. Are those impossible to make? They're not easy. They're not easy to be sure. Eh, we'll get to it eventually. For now, it's not terrible. It's not an urgent, urgent thing. I want to get my house in order, remember? Nice. 30 cables. Not bad by any stretch. And that's a quest complete. And I'm gonna continue destroying my small piles of redstone because I just don't feel like hanging out of those. All right, cool. So now my external storage should be makeable. Excellent. Storing externally, quest complete. See, I told you I wasn't doing quests today. That wasn't entirely true, right? That wasn't entirely true. Hey, an advanced control circuit. I don't mind if I do, thank you very much. Uh, let's put away our junk that we don't necessarily need right now. And uh, we're getting close to the point where I can start, you know, making the basement look nicer than it currently does. But we'll get there, right? For now, what I want to focus on is making drawers. So I'm going to sawmill up a bunch of wood. Do I have like a chest that I can borrow for exporting here? We do. I'm gonna use an iron chest for the export. That seems like a good time, right? So that I can set you to orange on the top and not have to worry about this thing, you know, constantly backlogging. Oh, power, power's a thing, hold on. Nobody panic. Uh, we should have some power. Find canola four buckets? Yeah, hold on. Bucket, 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 bucket. I've got a bucket. This is another thing I had to do uh, between episodes. to help things keep moving. Cool. That and taking a nap will definitely help with our power situation. Because we don't have a lot of power gen right now. If you really think about it, we don't have a lot. Our power gen is almost entirely solar based and we don't have the best solars in the world. We have some decent ones to be sure, but not they're not great. So we have to kind of babysit our power. And this guy actually uses a healthy amount of power. So, you know. Now it's building back up obviously because I did this, but still. Um, that doesn't last very long. It lasts a little bit. It's actually a lot of power that we get out of that, but it's not a huge amount. Hey, look, I've got Galena dust in there. Cool. All right, you keep making smooth stone so that my base looks purdy. At least purdier. Do we have any cells in here? We actually should, now that I think about it. Yeah, some. 
I'm gonna keep you guys over here just because that's where I tend to think they should be. Um, meanwhile, put this and this away. This guy can go away. And we've got our external storage. We're making a bunch of wood, which is nice. Uh, let's make a drawer controller. Can we do that? We said that wasn't too bad, right? So we want a drawer controller and we want a bunch of basic drawers and probably some compacting drawers while we're at it. Um, and we should probably also make the drawer key, which needs a drawer upgrade. That's not terrible. We don't have any of those drawer upgrades? I thought we did. I think we had to use them to do stuff. Yeah, they're kind of annoying to make. Um, paper? Wasn't paper easier to make, like in a compactor or something? Yeah, two sawdust or two rice or two sugarcane. Well, sugarcane is what I'll use. Minus one, obviously. Okay. And then to get that, we just need a bunch of sticks and wood casings. Cool. I look forward to having remote stuffs. That'll probably be a good time. All right. So I just need one of you. And a carpenter. Carpenter would also be a really good time. That gets you going. And then we can have our key. And that'll be awesome. Nice. All right. So the drawer controller uh, that we definitely need needs a nether quartz gear. Easy. Um, some iron plates and a diamond. Not bad at all. Look at that. Look at that. One iron plate and we're good to go. Yes, please. You can go back in here. I'll take those tin plates and paper. And iron plate. All right. Drawer controller for the win. So let's figure out where our storage system will live. Um, so power is over here, right? Um, like we could put our... Um, Refined storage system here, right? Or at least the, the brains of it, um, because this is my machines room, right? So ideally I'd like the grid to be in this room, not here, but over here. So that as I'm working with all my different machines that we have that do different things, I have access to my items without having to run to this other room, right? So I think that's kind of gonna be the plan. Does that sound like a smart idea? So that'll be what we do. So let's put, um, you know, let's let's call like the you know this area here will be um, like the the disk drives and that stuff, right? And then we can run some cables maybe behind it uh, to some kind of drawer controller that would go something like this. Does that seem like a good spot for the drawer controller, right? And then it could be five. Yeah, you're a little tight, but not too bad. Maybe I'll stick you in the corner. Shouldn't be too bad of a plan, right? So you'll go there. That'll be like the brains guy, right? And then this will be the, the drives. And then, you know, you'll get power from something and wiring behind the walls to the controller. And that could be like a pretty decent drawer system. I don't even know if it needs to be that big, to be fair. Right? And that would be cool. And I like having this available so I can double click it every now and then if I need to. So that's what that's all about. All right. Is there a fancier chest recipe? Probably not. Probably not. Fifteen. Twenty-one. I don't know how many I want of these. Um, let's go 21, right? Does that sound cool? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If I trim the sides of these, that would be a pretty good drawer system. That would be 7 and 3 minus 1, so that would be 20 if we did 3 high. So that should be cool. Now, compacting drawers use a drawer. So I will make all 20 of these, and that should be fine. Or, you know, maybe a little bit more. 23 seems fine to me. 
We might even have a few others already. So yeah, that's tons of doors now. So that's cool. Oops. Yeah, I kind of like it the way it was. So let's grab these guys out of here. Cool. And then we'll just build it up a little bit more. That's neat. You guys all linked? Yeah, you are. Beautiful. Okay. Then we can have the external storage dude on that. And that'll save us probably a healthy amount of, 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 of space in our refined storage system. Because a majority of what we're going to hold is going to be resources. So by doing that, I mean, that should be cool, right? And this was going to be something. Cool. I like it. Right? And then we can run our cables up into the main room. So let's move this down there for now. Does that sound cool? Nice. Um, you can come with me for a minute. Actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. Um, let's have this thing be... I don't actually know where I want this to live, now that I think about it. Um, in this wall sounds kind of like a good idea. Right? Doesn't that sound kind of like a good idea? So we can move this factorizer to somewhere else, like not so centered. Right, and we could have the crafting grid here. And we might wanna move the elevator, we'll see. I'll probably want the elevator to be in this room too. I suspect that I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in this long room that's here. Um, so we'll, we'll figure that out, but. So that's our guy, right? Um, cool. Nice, not terrible, not terrible at all. Right, and then our uh, controller and our drives. I think I'm gonna put the controller in the corner um, I might wind up moving this a little bit because we're going to want other wiring. But remember, we don't have to worry so much about wiring uh, with with refined storage. It's, it's more important with applied energistics. So I think we'll be cool, right? So with this all set up, right, and I think I'm going to steal you. Not sure where I want you to be, but I want to steal you. Does this seem like a good spot? That doesn't seem terrible, right? And then this thing could even move here. That would be neat. What was here before? The chest, that's right. So now we've got access to this dude, right? And you can go into JEI synchronized mode. We can put stuff away and that's pretty awesome, right? Oh, that's right, I can't middle click with this thing. I'll remember that or I'm gonna fix it with the mod switch. We'll see, we'll see what I remember to do. But once one way or another, how cool is this, right? So now we've got that up and running. The only thing we have to worry about is power a little bit. Do we have another wireless RF transmitter? We do. So I can pop this down here because you're not using it. You're using seven RF a tick at the moment, right? So now you should be plenty. All right, guys. So I think here's the plan. Let's uh, wrap up the episode here um, and we'll come back next time. We'll make the basement and the new and, and the house look a little bit better. Uh, we'll clean things up. We'll get our uh, items stored and transferred uh, to where they should be. Right, so I'll throw my lapis, for example. Wow, I have a lot of lapis, don't I? Holy cow. That's a lot of lapis. Cool, and I'll stick that, I don't even know. Uh, some of this stuff we'll wanna absolutely put in compacting drawers, right? For sure. So yeah, I'll, I'll maybe between episodes, I'll, I'll populate the compacting drawers and do all that stuff, right? Um, 
like the compacting drawers needs two pistons each, right? So it's going to be a lot of wood casings. A lot of wood casings. Now I should be able to, in theory... Actually, don't we have a lot of sticks? Didn't we have a lot of sticks? Maybe we don't have any more sticks. Maybe I used them all. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We'll get it, we'll get it going. Hey, yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, cool. Let me get a bunch of pistons. All right, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. For now, take it easy.